So I call this the, the, the dirty dozen, and they all start with the letter I. And um, I will probably won't go, go into, into that much right now. But what we know too, and this is where I come in a lot, because we, we, since we can't deal with a lot of them, we, what, one of some of the things we can deal with are with the insufficiencies. For instance, um, we know that in most cases, the brain needs nutrients, needs specific nutrients. And so we can supply those nutrients. We can go a long way towards improving brain function. All right, so this is just. So as, at a certain point, the brain just switches off and decides, I'm done. So obviously, I mean, each of these things can, the things I mentioned earlier can cause problems. But it seems like, again, these, there's a point in which the brain decides to be the actual enemy doing the work. And the question I have, probably if I ever get to meet Dr. Bredesen is, okay, the brain decides to switch off, okay? It's a very complex, smart organ. So why doesn't it realize when to stop, right? I mean, it knows when to, when to start, stop pruning back. After the danger has passed, why shouldn't it, shouldn't it know to stop killing itself? At a certain point, because that's really what's happening here. It's not. It's not stopping. It just keeps pruning back and pruning back and pruning back until the vital organs. If the person lives that long, until the vital organs uh, are destroyed by the brain. Ah, that's that's a heck of a, a record. I got sort of speak talking your brain off the ledge, stopping it from going, from persisting in this mad suicide, suicide, suicide rush. Again, the same way, the same is the same principle. The, the 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 solution to the problem is the same, just reversing the problem. So if there are so many things that cause the problem, you you've, again just not to belabor the point, but you've got to address this from several different angles. Okay, so Dr. Bredesen and his record protocol. If you're fortunate enough to take your to, for your father to be involved in that protocol, that would be great. Again, because we don't have that kind of access back in my country and other countries like that, we have to deal with the most basic things. Uh, so there are seven areas that we address. So basically, the, the way we see it is that the brain, the brain has its own needs. If the brain is faltering, if the brain is, is, form, is forming, we have to understand what are the things that support and make the brain work. What are the circumstances? What's the environment? What is it that makes the brain work the way it should? then focus on providing the brain with those things and then standing back and watching it respond, if at all. And I have the seven areas that we talk about here. So I wanna to explain to you why these are important. There are about uh, 12, 13 systems in the body, the cardiovascular system, the musculoskeletal system, the digestive system, and so on and so forth. 